What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen episode 20. This one is called Non-Standard. Last episode things got a little more crazy. Like we get to see <laughs> the uh, dynamic between Itadori and Toto. I am in love with them. I am so glad that they're best friends now because like they just mesh so well together. And like in this like Toto has known Itadori for what an hour maybe two hours and he's already taught him so much. He's unlocked like a full body version of his own of his cursed energy and he has that new move Black Flash just came out of nowhere and so if Toto is able to get him that far in this much short of time like imagine what they can do with years of friendship. And plus he's going to get other teachers involved now, I'm sure, are going to be helping him learn. And so it's just going to keep getting better and better. Part of me thinks that maybe, like, I, I don't want to say Gojo's a bad teacher, but the reason why maybe he didn't even realize that Itadori was having that issue with his cursed energy is because someone like Gojo, I mean, this is just pure speculation. I don't know anything about Gojo at this point. But, like, it makes me think that maybe it's been so easy for him. Just to, He just picked it up so easy naturally. And maybe he didn't go through the same struggling phase like Itadori. Because Itadori isn't even a natural-born user of Cursed Energy. He got his Cursed Energy whenever he ate the finger from Sukuna. Like, he was extremely gifted and athletic. But he, he, I don't think he had any Cursed Energy before that. So maybe, like, someone like Gojo didn't have those same type of issues growing up. Because he's a natural user. That's pure, just pure speculation, because, I don't know. <laughs> but it's so awesome seeing him and Toto work together. I think in this episode, we're probably going to see the Kyoto Principal attack that guy that's putting the veil up. And maybe we'll see Gojo do something outside the wall. Because, like, Mahito, I'm pretty sure that's the name of the uh, patchwork face curse. He was there before this all went down. So he could still be there. He could be outside the veil, just waiting for Gojo to be alone and attack Gojo. But I think what what is probably going to happen is they're using this whole situation as a distraction to get all of the principals and like all the important people like focusing on the students. They're like, oh no, they're in trouble. So meanwhile, Mojito, Mahito, can go in there and just steal the fingers. That's what I think they're trying to do. And then they're going to feed them to Itadori somehow. But I like... I don't know how they're going to get him to Itadori without it being violent. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I think this is going to be really interesting. Hopefully we can uh, also just see more of Itadori and Toto fighting against this nature curse. Because, like, that was freaking awesome. <laughs> I love watching that. It was so cool. I'm so excited to get into this one. I'm so hyped for this episode, man. <laughs> But anyways, guys, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things that you do, and we're going to get right into the video. Oh, in third grade. Jeez. I mean, I guess he kind of deserved it, but maybe not that bad of a beating. That's Toto. Huh. I didn't realize that was Toto. <laughs> the veil. Let's see it. Toto's technique. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is about to be crazy. So there's... They're making a little bit of progress. What is this left arm thing gonna do, though? Oh, let's go. Oh, what is he about to do? <laughs> Is Toto like insanely smart too? He's got his best friend with him, his brother. Oh shit. 
No. Got too cocky. We're paying attention. Oh. No. No. Oh, what? Oh, that's his technique. He can change places. I forgot about that. <laughs> Boogie Woogie. <laughs> They're so cool together. Jeez. That's impossible to defend against if you have two people there. <laughs> oh. He doesn't even know what's going on. <laughs> Let's go. This is awesome. Oh, they're actually doing damage now. Together, they are unstoppable. But they need to finish this quick before he unleashes some crazy strong move. <laughs> His clap. Oh, he's the record holder. Oh. <laughs> that is going to be awesome. Four times. Itadori's on another level, though. He's got Sukuna inside of him. Hit him with that black flash. Oh! Itadori can't be stopped. Three in a row? <laughs> he is so outmatched right now. Gotcha! <laughs> they are so good together. Got him with the fourth. Record right there. He's tied it. Oh my gosh. Something bad's about to happen. I can just tell. This is going too well. <laughs> He's getting a little bit better at defending it, though. Oh, he saw that coming. Oh! He landed a black flash, but also got attacked. How do you even exercise a curse? Like, if it's that strong and you're not that on Gojo's level. They're gonna need another person, I feel like. <laughs> Will he? Will he be able to repel him? I need some Toto backstory. <laughs> Takata Chan. Oh no. Fushiguro kun no shushi wa chotto seichou shite ta yo ne. Demo, aite wa gurei da yo. Ichiban kanousei ga takai no yo. Takata Chan dropping knowledge. <laughs> Point zero one seconds. So if he turns it off, they don't even affect him. No. <laughs> I think one day he's gonna be so famous that he's probably gonna actually get with Takata Chan. Exercise him. He can swap with anything. Oh, if it has cursed energy. Oh! Toto with the curse tool would be a menace. Oh! Oh! This garden curse, nature curse, is so strong. Oh no, you guys need to run now. He's not playing. Oh, that's his domain expansion, probably. Oh, 
Oh, so he's been storing up energy for... Oh, gosh. Just run. Actually, Itadori get in front of it. He's not gonna kill Itadori. Oh, the bell's gone. Did the principal win? Is it... Oh, Gojo! Oh, he is not playing. <laughs> the principal is just rocking out. Maybe that's all a ploy to make you come close. Is it her? Oh. Who's this? He seems like bad news. <laughs><笑>あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの
and all of his limbs just got broken in every single way possible. I did not realize Gojo was that strong. Like, that is insane. There's no need to worry when Gojo is existing. Like, dude is insane. So insane. And Gojo even acknowledged, like, how much Itadori has grown since this event started. Like, he was like, Itadori, he's like, Yuji is on a whole nother level now. And then, like, the whole sequence with Toto clapping and then Itadori, like, switching places with them, that was just so cool. And they're like, oh, Black Flash, the most it's ever been achieved in a row is four times by uh, Nanami. And then Itadori just does it, like, five times in a row. So, um, yeah. Itadori is going to be a freaking menace. Whenever he gets that other, whenever he eats just, like, a couple more fingers, he's going to be insane. What I'm kind of concerned about now, though, is, like, what happens when... Sukuna just goes excursion. Is this just like a permanent thing where he can take over his body forever? Or is it just like a limited time thing? I don't really remember that part. So things might get a little dicey once they get a few more fingers. Because like Itadori is already on this level. And he's not even like experienced at using cursed energy. And so Sukuna is just going to be on a completely another level. So... When he comes out, it's not going to be good. And so I'm just wondering, like, is when he comes out, is it going to be permanent? Or is he going to be, like, back and forth again? Oh, this is going to be crazy. But anyways, guys, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things that you do. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.